Most people think that you need a telescope to observe the nighttime sky, but that's not true. You can observe many interesting things with a few basic tools. The first thing you need is a good dark sky, a clear horizon, no street lights, and if possible, no moon. A good pair of binoculars come in handy, and of course, a, a good star map. Most deep space objects are small and faint, so it's important that you be in an unobstructed area. On top of a hill or on top of a building is really great, and you want to be away from lights as we had mentioned earlier. The weather is an important factor. You don't want to get out on your site and then find out there's a lot of clouds. So, clearskychart.com is an important place where you can go on the internet to find out about weather forecasts that are specifically designed for astronomical viewing. As we had mentioned before, star maps are very important in searching the nighttime sky. They could either be paper or electronic. Skymaps.com is an excellent source for paper maps and if you have a smartphone or a computer you can go to Go Sky Watch Planetarium or Stellarium and these are really good and some of them are free. There are two important things you need to know about your star map. First of all, what are the meanings of the different symbols? And secondly, how to orient the map. On the sky map, you'll notice that some stars appear to be bigger than others. This has to do with brightness. The lower the number, the brighter the star. The dimmest star magnitudes visible to the naked eye is six. Study the star map symbols so that you can understand the difference between clusters, nebulae, and the like. There are two major catalogs. One is called the NGC, which stands for New General Catalog, and the other is Messier, which is a very popular catalog also. Printable sky maps usually have instructions how to properly orient the map. If you're using an electronic device, gyros usually align the, the device for you.